Hey, what's up, it's CJ here, and today we're gonna to talk about how it's been five years since I was laid off. Why am I making this video and who was it for? I was just looking at a couple of videos the other day and I found one that kind of interested me. I was like, how long has it been since I stopped working as an engineer? And it's been five years. So I can't really start the vlog without, uh, I feel like it was just weird. Um, basically today I got this little red packet here with my name on it and uh it's not a good packet basically the packet means that i lost my job it seems like it's been so much longer than that but this five years has been incredible for me and my family and i just want to talk to you guys about how that process has been for me and maybe hopefully it could help you out if you're in that same process or even thinking about either leaving your job or trying to find a new career path or just contemplating the process it takes to get from being a full-time employee to being a full-time self-employed entrepreneur i was on the fence for a long time of whether i could do it or not you may be as well so here's what i've learned you are not what you are currently doing that's the biggest thing that i had to overcome over the last five years and it's honestly taken me about four and a half <laughs> to figure that out like you are not what you are doing right now a lot of times we identify ourselves uh basically who we are is what we do and that's not always the case a lot of times i used to introduce myself as hey my name is tj and what i did was an engineer so i would tell people i'm, oh, I'm an engineer i'm a mechanical engineer and that was a part of my identity as part of my title tj davidson the mechanical engineer oh yeah you know tj yeah he's the engineer guy yeah that was who i was and it was hard to see myself outside of that but you are not just what you are currently doing right now you are a facet of things you are a complex human being and there's a ton of things that you have to offer not just what you are doing today so to think that you can't do anything outside of that is nonsense your journey is yours alone and no one else is supposed to walk your journey not your wife not your husband not your mom dad no one around you not your sister or brother they can't walk the journey that you have to walk for you it may take a period of time a long period of time to find yourself and figure out what it is that you need to do or want to do but no one can do it for you and also no one will be as convinced as you are that your idea or your journey is the right way to go you may talk to someone and may think that they will oh yeah this is a great idea but a lot of people cannot see what you see as your your end result or what you see for your life in the future so don't expect people around you to be uh heavily involved in your journey because it's something for you to walk and you to understand alone that doesn't mean to not seek help or have people around you that hold you accountable it just means that be careful who you share that journey with because not everybody is going to be supportive of it no one is going to save you you may be sitting around waiting for something to happen for you or you may be sitting around waiting for that opportunity that perfect opportunity to happen for you and honestly there may not be a sign there may not be a you know <laughs> a door that just opens up and says come on in that may not happen at all so honestly you may have to open up the doors for yourself you may have to take your yourself out of the situation in order for it to work for you i was in a position where i didn't know if i went, really wanted to go back like the environment i didn't like it and i was i was complaining about it all the time and i was taking this victim kind of mentality but if i didn't make the decision to not go back if i didn't make the decision to say hey i deserve more for myself if you're not willing to make that decision no one is going to make that decision for you the other part of saving yourself is that no one is going to save you afterwards so when you do leave when you do decide to go out and be this entrepreneur or this you know self-employed person then you have to save yourself in that point too you have to constantly be learning you have to constantly be putting effort towards your work and your craft and the journey that you want to go on for it to work the good thing about having a full-time position is that someone is there to tell you what to do when you have your own business and you can wake up at your own schedule and you can work when you want to work the problem is that you have to be your own boss you have to tell yourself to get up early in the morning right now it is 4 21 a.m and i am up making this video you have to be willing to do the work in order for it to work for you i have a degree in mechanical engineering and i've been in the engineering field for about four years now 
and I've went to different companies. So basically they gave us this packet and told us that, hey, you know, um, we're ending the company. We'll give you a little bit of money. Um, hopefully you can find a job. And I found that out today. Today was my last day. I'll never forget when I was in my, my job and it was just like this random Tuesday. Everyone was just laid off. All the engineers were just laid off. They said, they said we don't need you. It was an interesting time just being there waiting for them to give us our check and knowing that that was the last day that we will be there. I did everything right at that job and I still lost my job. I didn't have any say so. It didn't matter how hard I worked, I still would have lost my job. Knowing that I didn't have any control over that, it just put a new perspective. I understood that the only way for me to actually have security over my life, over my family, over my finances, over my time, was for me to do it on my own. That way, the responsibility of whether I failed or succeed was on me. But that's exactly what makes being self-employed or being an entrepreneur so hard. You have to be the person to kick your own butt. I mean, I, I say keep a job, but also pursue your own passion because if you didn't have your own passion, and like in my position, if I didn't, if we didn't uh, do things, like if I didn't do my photography outside of, outside of YouTube, I mean, I would, I don't know what I would do. I like, I wouldn't have any money. I wouldn't, you know, everything would be gone, you know? So I'm blessed and I'm happy, but I'm also kind of distraught and um, I feel kind of deceived at the same time, so. The last thing is your comfort zone is just a graveyard for your ideas and your dreams. Nothing is going to be easy for you. And from this point on, I'm assuming that you're deciding to, to move forward and, and take this on. From that point on, you know, you're drawing the line in the sand. You're saying from this, from today forward, I will be fully committed to doing this for myself. From that point forward, you'll constantly have to learn new things. You'll constantly have to challenge yourself. And what I found to be helpful is knowing that where I was most uncomfortable was the places where growth was. And I am like the creative and I am a creative in, in, in every sense. I'm the person who doesn't like to do the numbers. I'm the person who doesn't like to really take money for doing a job. And a lot of times I was, I was so fixated on the creative aspect um, that I wasn't really fixating on the business aspect, the things that you know it takes to actually earn money or to earn a living. And so for me, I had to start to attack those things and go towards those things. Maybe I should try to you know figure this area of my life out that way I can, you know, I can grow. I can be the business owner or the entrepreneur or the self-employed person that I need to be in order to be successful. Growth is probably the biggest part of all of this. Finding out more about you and finding out more about what you're capable of and also, you know, not giving up on the things that you can't do right now. This is me five years later from you know leaving that position and I feel great you know the things that we have been able to do over the last five years has been amazing and I would not trade that decision for the world hope you guys enjoyed I don't know if this helped I hope it helped let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video peace <music>